Sam, you are nailing everything I want to discuss today. <laughs> and you have now coined the phrase, a job shop dream machine. There you go. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Silicon Valley, home of Google and Apple and Facebook and some of the best technology from around the world. But we are also at Jarvis Manufacturing, some of the best manufacturing in the world. And I want to take you inside to a company that has been around since 1959, a job shop that's invested in some of the best technology on the planet, ready to take care of your manufacturing needs. So let's head inside and see what they're all about. Welcome to the Job Shop Dream Machine. Have you heard that before? If you haven't, Sam and I have now dated it and made sure that it's ours to say we're Jarvis Manufacturing here today in Silicon Valley where normally I hang out with the folks at Google and Facebook and Apple and all these really cool companies that are here, but Jarvis is right up there with them. A job shop making some of the coolest products on the planet started in 1959, taken over about 26, 27 years ago, and now bunches, dozens of machines with these beautiful blue ones behind me, which we are gonna talk about today. And the first topic we're gonna talk about is because I mentioned Silicon Valley, For sure. we instantly think how expensive it is to live here and how much real estate costs here. So how important is it for you to have a machine that can have multiple function and combine the operations of a lot of other machines on one footprint? I mean, this, uh, this has been a, one of the big uh, benefit of having these machines. We live in the top 10, if not top five most expensive areas in the United States, you know, and these machines, the, we bought them over the past two years. The footprint is so much smaller and the amount of work they can do in that much footprint is just amazing. We're also discussing the fact that we are, whether we're using it as a buzzword or not, constantly talking about labor shortage. Yeah. So on top of the expense of maybe having to run five, six, seven machines outside of the Matsura to do the exact same part, potentially we might have three, four, five, six, seven people running right. those machines as well. What have you noticed here with the Matt Sura when we're thinking about that topic also? So from the time we bought these two machines, I mean, we've been able to combine work from our three or four vertical machines and put them into this one machine. We're combining three, four, five operations into one operations. The machines are running unattended. My guy who runs this machine, he runs four machines at a time. Yeah, where is your guy right now, yeah, Sam? So he's running around, isn't right, he? So he's, uh, he's running those two Matsura verticals for me, and these machines he has to attend maybe twice a day, twice in his shift, just to load new parts if we're not doing a setup. So that's been one of the biggest benefit for us because the labor sh shortages are always a challenge. And having a guy run four machines and all four machines producing beautiful intolerance in-spec parts, and that's just great. Yielding yeah. and producing is so important. What's it going to accomplish? Now, I'm looking around your shop and I see a couple of mass sort of vertical machines, sure. which were purchased a few years ago. And then you've now modernized and gone to a five axis pallet change. And then this beautiful right. ma'am here, right. which is your newest one. Let's talk about the genesis of how you've decided to implement Matsura into your shop and then segue into when you invested in that first five, uh, that five axis machine over there in the pallet change, you said, is it making us money? And you have a really funny response to that. Would you right. mind talking about those sure. details? Yeah, so we had uh, for Matsuras, we had the VX1000, the two vertical machines. We have had them for about seven, eight years. And the amount of work that they've been producing, the beautiful parts were running all kind of exotic alloys on them. And their spindles are so solid, machines are built so rigid. So when we were looking into our first pallet full five axis machine, Matsura was always at the top. And uh, Selway obviously helps us with them. And uh, when we got our first five axis machine, we had 90 tools, 10 pallets, and we were running, we loaded it up. We were super excited. We picked up work from our verticals, saved them on there. And then uh, about a year into it, uh, we were like, we need another one of these or a different machine. Let's do some uh, cost analysis study. So for about a week or so, we started uh, logging in the cycle time, how much it's running. And after that, we realized like, what are we doing? Machine does, spindle doesn't stop. We're cutting 24 <laughs> hours and you know, so the machine speaks about itself. So having said that, then we're like, you know, we need a bigger version of it, more pallets, more tools. So that's when we decided to get the MAM 72. So we got 33 pallets, 330 tools. And uh, you know, both of these small brother, big brother, and just been our like, you know, bread and butter. They've been yielding parts. We took parts from our three or four vertical machines saved them over here, the ones that were making all throughout the year. 
and these machines are producing so many more new parts that are keeping our other three or four verticals that we have busy all day long. The tools themselves, because you mentioned you had 90 tools and that's a decent amount, but sure. when we're talking about multiple pallets, and you're talking about maybe 20 tools per job, I believe you've mentioned to me previously. Right. And, and we're talking about running through the nights and weekends, running 24 hours a day. For sure, I mean like, you know, having this 330 tools, as I mentioned to you before too, uh, we were talking, that I never thought this machine is meant for a job shop. You know, I always thought this is a high-end production machine, but having this machine with 330 tools, where I have five different, all kinds of end mills, all kinds of tabs, all kinds of drills inside, I'm able to support a, such a shorter lead time parts, complicated parts, on like two day turnaround, three day turnaround. So like if R&D wants the next day, I can give them one piece next day because all my tools are there, all my work holding is there, all I have to do is program it and run it out. And the beauty of this machine is the repeatability, the precision is so great. If your program is done right, the part's gonna come right the first time and you don't have to mess around with it so much. Sam, you are nailing everything I wanna to discuss today. <laughs> and you have now coined the phrase, a job shop dream machine. There you go. So I'd like to take this moment since I have you on camera and kind of dive a little deeper into what you just described. I wanna dive into the fact that Years and years ago, because you've been doing this a little while now, you looked at a big machine like this and said, oh, that's not for us. That's for high production. Right. That's not for a job shop. But then you decided to give it a try. What sure. was that experience like? And how does it feel as a job shop to work with a man machine, a master of man? Right. So, I mean, you know, we would always go to these trade shows, see these big machines with multiple pallets or with a high price value, you know. We always thought these are for a higher production, 10,000, 100,000 parts machine companies. But since we got these, I mean, that have totally changed my perception on these machines. I mean, these are job shop machines. I mean, we definitely run some production on it overnight or on the weekends where we load all the pallets there on Saturday, Sunday. But during the daytime, if somebody wants a quick part, I mean, these are my machines. I have all the tools. I have my tool library on my computer when I'm programming. I know what tools are there. I know work holding. I just, it's such a fast process to do, it get rid of so many like human errors or manual labor that you have to do on every part. I'm inspired by you, first of all, Sam, because you're right and, and you know your stuff. You, the, the fact that you talk about the programming, the, this conversation comes from a place of knowledge. It comes from a sure. place of potentially failures in other areas that you've applied those learning lessons into this. So I wanna take a moment because here on MTD CNC, when we talk about Matt Sir, oftentimes, we look at the audience and say, you know what you could do with a Matt Sir? Because we promise you with pallet change systems, if a hot job comes in, you can keep the machine running and that hot job will come in and you can do that one next and there's no interruption because you can go right back to your job on the third pallet or the fourth pallet. Right. Sam, my friend, this is something you mentioned just a few minutes ago, especially over the last few years where, and, and in Silicon Valley as well, <laughs> right? Somebody has an R&D project, they look at you and go, hey, Jarvis Manufacturing, I just designed this. Yeah. I need it tomorrow. Right. Is there any way you can get it done for me? And this system works for that. Would you mind describing how that process is allocated? So it's a combination of uh, machine having all the capabilities and also having the precision to it, you know, and give, giving the confidence to the programmers that if I program it right, especially the, all these R&D parts, I mean, we all know parts are getting more complicated by the day. The designs are getting more complicated because, you know, we have all different kind of angles, all different kind of tight tolerances. And these are the machines for it, you know. I'm able to take a job from a customer with confidence, knowing I can give them one piece tomorrow, I can give it to them, it's gonna be in spec, I can get it done, I can get 10 pieces done by the week, you know. So we're able to support our local customers and R&D departments, making them happy with the parts, with the lead times, and with the quality of the parts produced locally in the United States to them. So that's been a bigger uh, benefit for us. Machines like this, Matt, sir, allow you to remain competitive when this comes into play for multiple reasons, whether it's speed, whether it's multitasking, whether it's the flexibility, whether it's the ability to do jobs. Would you mind talking about that subject? Because I know with you being a job shop, working in aerospace, working in semiconductor, working in, well, whatever they're going to give us, we're going to do for you. Yeah. How does that situation work for you? So that's where uh, they benefited us in a big way. Obviously, you're 100% right, you know if you're doing a job for 10 years, 
customers asking us discount, hey, you've been doing, you have to improve your process. And this is where this machines came in handy. We're able to consolidate our work from three to four different machines onto one machine. And you've seen since morning, we haven't had somebody attend this machine. It's been running since the morning since you got here. And let's be fair, yeah. Sam, we know material prices and labor costs are going right. up for us, right? right? And then uh, with all the costs going up, the only way you can do is by automation. So we have this one machine is doing the work of four machines without an, without an attendant being here. So that's the only way we can, we can give them a price break on our parts that we've been doing for so long. Sam, um, I don't have any more questions. You, my friend, have been brilliant. I feel like I've, I've just made a new friend for life. <laughs> is that all right if I hug you to end this interview? <laughs> no, is that no, okay fine, with you? Fine, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> excellent. For my friends out there, this is my buddy Sam. This is Jarvis Manufacturing. This is Matt Sura and what Matt Sura can do. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate your time. We know how valuable your time is. So we hope that you've learned something today from Sam and Jarvis Manufacturing. If you're looking to get your products done, obviously, efficiently and effectively with precision, give Sam a call. They'll definitely be able to work on your products. So that is Jarvis Manufacturing here in Silicon Valley, investing in the latest and greatest technology to make sure that our reshoring needs are taken care of. This is what happens when you put quality with the right type of people. If you would like to know more about Jarvis Manufacturing, reach out to MTDC and see anytime. We will connect you with the right people. Thank you all for watching. We know how valuable your time is, and we'll see you again soon.